Sponsored by Salud Beer Shop, located at 3306 North Davidson Street in the Noted District of Charlotte. Check out their huge selection of craft beer in bottles, cans, and growlers, and see what's on tap in the tasting room. Salud Beer Shop. Drink real beer. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina. Provide our opinions of them on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. Today, we've gone out west and we are drinking the Catcher in the Rye out of the Frog Level Brewing Company, located at 56 Commerce Street out in Waynesville. Be a level head, they say. Frog Level says they're located at the gate. Is that what that says? Be a level head? Be a level head. You pulled that out from where we were at before. That's right. Yeah, right. right. We, say, we, say, we save our swag. <laughs> uh, be a level head, they say. Frog Level says they're located at the gateway of the Smokies. And that their beers are distinct in their attitude and ingredients, brewed with wholesome grains, fresh hops, and proudly served. And those guys out there, they're just so hospitable and they're great guys. And we've seen them along the Beale Trail. And we've been fortunate enough to be out there a couple of times. And they are, Clark and his crew yep. um, are just great. Uh, you can get a pint of any of the Frog Level beer drinking in their tasting room, or get a croaker, which is two pints, which is the size we're drinking today, mm -hmm. or a bigger growler, four pints to take with you. If you're hungry, bring your own food and enjoy it with your beer inside their great uh, appointed tap room or on their back deck overlooking the flowing creek, which is like one of the most impressive places you've ever found to drink a beer. It's so calming with that stream mm -hmm. running, that deck over the stream, it's just a, a, a absolutely great place. Yep. Of the Catcher in the Rye, Frog Level says, quote, you'll be jumping for joy over the floral aroma and tangy zip of this one. You may even write a novel about it. Catch me in the rye, hold oh, coffee, or get it, get it. Sure. Uh, brewed with rye to give it a slight grainy character that lingers. This light red ale, moderately hopped, with citrusy and floral American hops, has a big white head. Now, I, ours didn't have a big white no. head. You poured it. I poured it bad. We poured it so we could drink it, not look at the head. That's right. That's right. That's the uh, and uh, this Catch in the Rye comes in at APV. 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 I, I wrote APV too. Really? A, after all this time. It's a, new, it's a new term for him. <laughs> <laughs> I must have cut and pasted that from somewhere, you know. <laughs> ABV of 5.5%. So nice. let's see what we got. Nice aroma. This is great. Mm, yep. It's a little multi aroma. Yeah. It's, yep. it's, not, it's not like the rye aroma you get out of some uh, rye beers. No. Ooh. Floral aroma and tangy zip. I get the aroma. I don't get. A, there's not a lot of zip. This is kind of a not not a not a not zippy in your. No, I, I wouldn't have used that word. But no, it's not zippy. Very slight on the hops, as you'd expect. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a medium body. Yeah. To light, medium to light. Yeah, medium to light. Little crisp hit on the end of it. I wonder really if that's really what sick. he means when he says the. Um, he says about the grain, grainy, you know, what slight he grain character that lingers. Yeah, that might be the, the after the bit there. I think it's easy to drink. It's very easy to drink. It's very refreshing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To me. And you it's, see, it has nice potential to have a head. It does uh, stick to the glass and lace. Any, no more head than we had to start to work with. Yeah, it's probably two pints worth in there. Fill her up. Um, I talked about drinking in the tap room. Right head. Fro frog level. <laughs> nice. <laughs> frog level does have a distribution deal going, and you can get their beer, uh, unlike many of the Western breweries, uh, where you can't get the beer unless you go to the western part the of the state. Uh, you can find this around Raleigh. I know you can find it, he said, around Wilmington. Really? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure all where you can get it. And apparently their distribution deal is not like statewide because you can't get it everywhere. But it is available in the Triangle area. And the lengths we go to to get great beer. And I don't know about Charlotte, frankly. Just don't know. But if you get a chance to try Frog Level, which you may not have heard of, may not they're, they're relatively new in the scene. Then learn about it. Well then... 
not super new. They've been around for a little bit. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, it's like both, like a majority of the breweries that have been opening up in the last two years. Right. So they're part of that, but. But you couldn't call them new compared to so many that have opened in the past yeah. year. Because they've been out there a couple of years, maybe, mm -hmm. anyway. Yep. But like I said, Clark, and uh, I, sorry, I don't remember his wife's name. I know her as the Nutty Brunette, because they, the <laughs> they named her beer after her. Uh -huh. And she's neither Nutty or Brunette anymore. But she's a great lady, mm -hmm. and Clark, and we met the family, and they're just, they're good people. They'd appreciate you drinking their beer, yeah. and we'd appreciate you drinking their beer. Give them a try. That's right. And let us know what you think of what we're doing and what you think of the beer. Mm -hmm. Until next time, remember, drink local. Keep your beer dogs North Carolina. We're the NC Beer Guys, and we'll catch you later.